the Rybal is evolved to live in this environment and it has a grey back, just the same colour as these stones and the eggs are just like stones, so the nest is not obvious. It's just a few little pebbles. I've seen a bird sitting in there and just reaching out and picking pebbles all that size and just putting them underneath. There's no lining whatsoever, that's it. And the reason for that is that a black-backed gull, or when they evolved, they had black-backed gulls, they had harsed eagles and maybe more porks and or, uh, birds flying around which could take eggs and it means that when they were off the nest, the eggs are just impossible to see. They sit on the nest for about 24 days, I think it is, and then the chicks take another four or five weeks before they fledge. And the chicks, when they hatch, the parents never feed them. So the moment they hatch, they have to be close to water because they're feeding on insects in the water. And within hours of hatching, they're off, walking through to where a feeding area is. The chicks, when they first hatch their little balls of fluff, of course, and often referred to as sort of oversized bumblebees, they look like a little bumblebee because they're very mobile, they're racing around. This season, there's seven pairs on the river. Last year, we had 10, um, and when, in the early years, in the early 2000s, we, were, we used to get three or four or five max. So, the trend is definitely up with rival. It's, um, we've got enough data to do statistics on that, so it is a significant increase since 2000. Branded rivers around the world are actually pretty rare, and here in Canterbury we've got a number of them, including the, uh, the Ashley Rakahuri. Here we are, and it's smack bang in the middle of the Waimakariri zone. And here on the braided rivers, or Ashley Rakahuri, we're also lucky enough to have rare birds that actually only breed here in this, uh, in this environment. So that makes things like the rye bill pretty damn special right here in the middle of the Waimakariri zone. Vehicles, especially if they come in convoys, that, that can definitely be an issue because the, the imprint of four vehicle tyres is a lot more than a couple of human feet walking through. So um, that's why we, one of the reasons we don't like vehicles at this time of the year because they can, they tend to follow the open shingle areas and rivals only nest in open shingle, they won't nest where there's a lot of weeds um, and therefore they follow the areas where the, the birds are more likely to have nests. It's the only bird in the world out of 10,000 species with a sideways bending bill and I get people ringing me from offshore saying they're coming to New Zealand, is it possible for me to show them braided rivers, well that's all we've got, they're common in Canterbury, they're rare in the rest of the world so they want to see that and they want to see, um, can you show me birds on the river, particularly the rival. And what we don't want them to have to say is that um, I can show you a braided river, but I'm afraid I can't show you a rival because they're all gone, we didn't look after them. People would say, so what? But that, that sort of biodiversity in the world is very important to me and it's important to a lot of other people.